I'm in cerebral, exposing the evil In the small minded people, it's time for life to teach you I hope my voice can reach you, giving you vision so you can see through Police corruption, it's all illegal, it's the truth and let's just face it Nothing has changed since, so Paul Condon admitted the British police force were racist Remember 1985 in Cynthia Jarrett's home, I was 15 and felt so angry, I'm sure I was not alone Winston Silcott, he was innocent, it's disgusting They gave him a life sentence based on police perverting the course of justice How they handled Stephen Lawrence's case was total insanity Sending officers to spy and discredit a black family Instead of trying to convict the ones who caused the tragedy The constabulary, the ones who shot Mark Duggan barbarically The violent voters, they took the life of smiling culture And it's sick the way they claim we all got a chip on our shoulder It's proven time and time again Officers get violent when they deal with icy free males They think that we're all violent men They'd like to see us all inside the pen It's like brutality in custody's become some new type of trend Someone could lose their life but at the end of the day When families grieve, police officers get suspension with pay When I was young I had more trust and I respect what they say Until the day I realised they didn't respect me that way they said I was obstructing and the rest they was conducting What I witnessed was them beating somebody while they handcuffed him I made a vocal protest in no less than five seconds I was tackled to the ground and hit with some type of weapon I suffered deep bruising, cuts and abrasions Pictures were taken of my injuries I received in the station That's a real situation, can you feel me? I heard officers lie under oath but I was still found not guilty As I left the court I felt that there could still be A problem as a prosecuting officer looked like he wanted to kill me Since 1969 there's been well over 2,000 deaths in police custody Injustice and corruption, how much more can we handle? Too many deaths in police custody and vigils with candles. The victims and the families caught up in these scandals are handled inhumanely like the relatives of Django. From Sean Riggs to Leon Briggs, their lives were taken. If you believe the police are honest, then you're quite mistaken. And I can see that they don't like the Asians like Jamaicans. They say we're violent in the station and lying in their statements. At least 80% are racist and they're white Caucasians. We treat the people of colour like they're some type of aliens. Christopher Older was a great British soldier. Treated like a piece of meat by police because of his culture. Unlawful killing and negligence Officers making monkey noises On CCTV tapes that were used as evidence But even seeing the footage and knowing the racial elements The IPCC accepted the officers' testaments The Independent Police Complaints Commission seemed to double up It's internal police cohorts who helped to cover up Out on the streets are feeling danger And this gang carrying metal crosses, pepper spray, automatic guns and tasers I'm not trying to blow it out of proportion 800 or more custody deaths in the last 10 years So I step with caution And why the heck would I respect this type of law enforcement Black or white we all have rights it's time to enforce them Since 1969 and that's a long time That one officer has been convicted of these custody death crimes Is it coincidence and not skin tone that seems to influence The percentage of black people involved in these incidents To them it's like our lives are insignificant Then they claim the victim When people start to riot and get militant But they should understand the nature of emotion Without as much injustice maybe people might control them And the next time the police make a corrupted defense Please make sure that you don't do it at the public's expense there are dozens of other families who have yet to see anyone held responsible for their loved one's death. The Independent Police Complaints Commission recently said that on average, one person per week dies as a result of contact with the British police. Injustice and corruption, how much more can we handle? Too many deaths in police custody and vigils with candles. The victims and the families caught up in these scandals are handled inhumanely like the relatives of Django. Injustice and corruption, how much more can we handle? Too many deaths in police custody and vigils with candles. The victims and the families caught up in these scandals are handled inhumanely like the relatives of Django.